Vlogmas day two. I'm low-key kind of late though because I started it on day two So I guess this is vlogmas day three, but who's counting? I'm not calling this vlogmas. I'm calling this days miss so Welcome, I'm just gonna try to wing this whole month and see what the fuck goes down Shout out to you if you saw my video yesterday if you didn't watch it definitely go watch it I gave you guys a little tour home gym slash office Room tour. Check it out if you want to. I am going to start off my day by doing some jump roping. That's what I've been doing for cardio as of recent. I think it's so freaking fun. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm currently finishing some coffee that I put in a wine glass. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this and then probably get started. Um, I don't know if I wanna do it maybe on the balcony today or if I want to do it downstairs. I don't know, we'll see, but yeah, okay. I'm so tired. So I ended up actually jump roping for about an hour. I do intervals or I just kind of follow along with the song and stuff. And oh my God, I'm so tired. Like I'm so winded. I just kind of cooled down for a bit because I couldn't even talk. There was literally sweat coming in my eyes. So I'm just kind of chilling. I'm about to shower um, and then I'm definitely gonna go make some food and see what I can make. I'm so freaking hungry, dude. Jump roping is a form of cardio that I have been doing for approximately three weeks now, and I love it so much. It's so fun. So I just posted this photo on IG. I made Johnny take photos of me. Shout out to you if you saw it. If you didn't, you should go check it out. <laughs> This is the yoga mat I was telling you guys in my last vlog that got hella fucked up because I took it outside. I need to sweep. There's hella dirt everywhere from the plants. Look at how pretty the sun is setting. I don't want to show you guys too much. I know some of you guys mentioned that you might know where I live, but if you guys ever come and visit me, just know I'm going to be really scared, so please don't come and visit me. How pretty. Wow. Um, as you can see, my hair color actually looks a little bit different. I just got my hair done. Maybe I look psycho. Maybe like a week ago. I wash my hair once a week. I know it's disgusting, especially because I work out. But I have found that that is what works best for me. Um, my hair doesn't get oily too, too fast. And I kind of find myself experimenting more with different hairstyles when my hair is a little bit more dirty because I'm forced to put it up. So... 
actually don't mind washing my hair once a week. Those of you who don't know, I have naturally very curly hair. A lot of people know, but a lot of people don't know because I actually don't wear it as often as I used to. Just because since I do work out, I do work out almost every single day. Um, it makes it kind of a hassle to keep it up and keep it out of my face. So I always end up combing it back, which kind of ruins my curls. But I'm going to wash it today, so I guess you guys are going to see what it looks like. As you can see, she needs some washing. Yeah. I am now out of the shower. If you do not dry your hair with a microfiber towel, if you do not have one, use a t-shirt. It definitely minimizes frizz. I just kind of use any t-shirt I have on hand. This is my friend Kenny's t-shirt that I bought off of him. Shout out to Ken. This is what I use in my hair post shower. 10 Cantu leave-in conditioning mask, Kristen S curl defining cream for curly hair. I also use this Olaplex bonding oil. And I also use a wet brush and a coarse diffuser. I got my diffuser from Target a while back. Works really well, nothing super crazy, super simple. So I already went ahead and had dried my hair with the t-shirt. Every time I apply stuff on my hair, I always make sure to cover my face because I don't want to get product <laughs> on my face. The tiniest, the tiniest bit. I'm gonna use maybe like this much. Grab some of this Kristen S. Rub that hoe. Still have some excess on my hands, but I'm gonna wash them now. Oh, dude, I also forgot to show you guys, I also use pillow soft curls sometimes, depending on how my hair is behaving. If my hair is a little bit more dry, I do go in with the can too, just because the can too, I do find it is a little bit more deep conditioning. I'm gonna go in with my diffuser now. This kind of takes a long time, so I'm gonna just go and do this, and I'll come back once my curls are intact. All right guys, so this is the end result after I diffuse my hair. As you can see, it's kind of like wavy curly. My curls aren't like that intact because I do bleach my hair. That's how I get it this light. This is kind of my natural hair color up here. I really didn't want to go out of my way to record the whole process because it literally takes me so long. Like I was sitting there for over an hour diffusing my hair. So, so as you can see, I got hella shoe boxes. I got more shoes in my closet there, but I went to the container store about a week ago and I got all of these little shoe containers. They're not all organized yet. My closet's a mess. Like I got shit everywhere um, because I still kind of am trying to figure out a better way to organize my stuff. But they're super cute and they make your shoes look great. It's easier to kind of grab shoes because before, I had all my shoes up there in that top shelf, like all of my shoe boxes were on my top shelf. And it was really hard for me to get my shoes whenever I wanted to switch them out or whatever. So now I have them in here. It's so cute. I'm probably going to get more eventually um, because I order shoes kind of frequently. Yes, it's so cute. That little vase I thrifted, my Dior bag I thrifted, my favorite beats. These are my current favorite, <laughs> so my favorite, but I don't really wear them that often. These up here, I actually think I might sell these on Depop. I've only worn them like once or twice. I think I've worn them twice actually, but I don't wear them enough because I thought I was going to like Air Maxes, but I don't really like them. So I might sell those on Depop. So if you want to follow me on Depop, you can. So I really quick want to show you guys some things that I've thrifted over the past like two weeks because they're so cute and they're very fall. So I've been kind of getting a lot more familiar with thrift stores around and near LA. So I just picked these three things up, I think at the attic. That, I think that's what it's called. I'm not really sure. How cute this YSL scarf is. I got it for like $3. Then I got this cute little bralette. I also got this little collared with the zipper materials super cute orange like 70s kind of top got this light pink scarf it's almost like the same material as this just a little softer 
but I love getting scarves like these, especially long, thin ones for like tie tops. I'll insert a little example pic on the screen here so you guys know what I'm talking about. You go thrifting, you don't necessarily just wanna go in for things that are like designer. Sometimes you gotta DIY shit, like for example with the scarf tops. Um, and I feel like this type of stuff would be super cute for fall, so I have not worn these, but I'm sure whenever I do wear them, you will see pics on IG. So if you don't follow me on IG, def check it out because I do post cute as fuck, in my personal opinion, outfit pics on there. I love wearing cute outfits. If you don't follow me on IG and you're new here, you probably don't know that, but I like to dress cute. Oh my God, and I also thrifted this bag at some Pasadena antique store from this lovely lady. She sold it to me for $150 and it is indeed real, which is super crazy because I've always wanted something in the colorful monogram and now I finally have it and I didn't even pay full price. So yeah. Look what just came in the mail guys. It's so funny because I was literally just talking to you guys about shoes. But these just came in the mail about an hour ago and I really quick wanted to show you guys them before I end the vlog. They're so cute. I can't wait to wear them. Um, definitely stay tuned on my IG to see what I wear them with. I still need to kind of come up with the cute fit. So yeah, see y'all there. Hope you enjoy the blog. The blog. Blog. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>